I don't think I'm the only one that's ever done that to. We kept the tape for eight years, not really knowing what to do with it. So now, what did authorities say, if anything, when you went to them, if you went to them and said, hey, we have this tape, while we can't get anybody else to corroborate the information on this tape, what can you do uh, with this information? Well, you know, we don't see it as our job to go to authorities with evidence that we collect. You never had any oral sex with him. Mm. So we didn't bring it to TV. Uh, why did ESPN not bring the story to police in 2003? Well, for one thing, we did not witness anything ourselves. Lori Fine seems to say that her husband was not the only adult in the Fine household who betrayed Davis's trust. The issue with his is that he had no business doing what he did with you. In retrospect, right? You know Davis says he and Lori Fine had a sexual relationship. The taped phone call that ESPN revealed today was not provided to the university by Mr. Davis during the 2005 investigation by our legal counsel. Do we know why? Well, that is true. They did not have that uh, 2000. They did not have that tape in 2005. Uh, Bobby Davis uh, did not know what to do with that tape. All he knew is that the Syracuse police had a cursory five-minute phone conversation with him in 2002. He then made the tape. He presented it to us. We didn't have a corroborating second alleged victim, and so we kept the tape for eight years, not really knowing what to do with it. You know, I know everything that went on with that. Lori Fine was asked about these allegations in this review by legal counsel at Syracuse when they did an internal investigation in 2005. And at the time, the source tells me, when asked about Bobby Davis's allegations, she called him a liar, she said it was a joke, and she said she knew nothing about it. The tape conversation between Bobby Davis and Lori Fine seems to indicate otherwise. Do we know why? Well, that is true. They did not have that uh, 2000. They did not have that tape in 2005. We kept the tape for eight years, not really knowing what to do with it. Well, you know, we don't see it as our job to go to authorities with evidence that we collect. So we didn't bring it to TV. Uh, why did ESPN not bring the story to police in 2003? Well, for one thing, we did not witness anything ourselves. Uh, why did ESPN not bring the story to police in 2003? Well, for one thing, we did not witness anything ourselves. You know, I know everything that went on with him. Funny his issues. Why did ESPN not bring the story to police in 2003? Well, for one thing, we did not witness anything ourselves. I don't think I'm the only one that's ever done that to.